Hey everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Security Lock feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock. Here with us today, we happen to have an Insignia 11-inch screen size Android tablet, and this device does have the Google Lock enabled here because as we can see, as we're going through the setup process, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset and to continue to sign in with a Google account that was previously on the device. And that's basically what the Google Lock consists of. So if you factory reset the device without first taking off the Google account that's on it, it's then going to ask you to log back into that account again as a security measure after the fact factory reset has been performed. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model usually be either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled then obviously after the purchase the buyer discovered it was locked they didn't have the login information and the seller had long since disappeared so it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices but we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove this type of lock from this exact device without having to have the previous Google login information. It's actually something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that we can do for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decent recently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did right here right now. So obviously we can see the device is in the process of turning back on here and since we've already run our computer program that removes the lock for us we should be able to see after it boots up that we should be able to get all the way through the setup steps without seeing that Google lock screen. So it's just coming up here. And then of course that model number there, the NSP11A8100. Kind of a long one, but that's the exact model that we are working with here. So we're gonna go ahead and start going through the steps here, one at a time. It's gonna check the network and do a few things first. And actually, I think if I back up and disconnect the Wi-Fi, that will make it go even faster. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so we're just going to skip the Wi-Fi then. We've got Google services here that we have to agree to, and we got to keep going. And now it's going to ask us if we want to add a name, and we don't have to do that, so we're just going to skip that. We also don't need a screen lock, so we're going to go ahead and skip that step. And then it's asking us if we want to set up anything else, and we do not need to do that. So we're going to finish up later in settings, and... Yep, we should be all set here. Looks like we have full access to the home screen. All of the apps and settings and features are available to us, and this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. Uh, in the settings here, I'm going to check and see if they have a specific model name listed for this device, and I don't think they do. Again, it's just that model number there, the NSP11A8100. So that's this specific device that we are dealing with. So if you happen to have one of these with the Google Lock enabled and need help getting rid of that, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put all of the details here at, in a slide at the end of the video. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday.
Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will also enable you to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hablantes, hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.